first of all, I want to say I'm not a, an, an expert on GBV. I'm not a, um, like I, I can only talk through experience, through like the reports I've had from my staff, and also having gone, having met people um, that work on the Balkan route and and know these these things. Like for sure, like um, especially in the context of. Uh, what is called illegal migration, so the Balkan route that is often taken by people who have been rejected in Greece, so they cannot get a travel document to get to other European countries. Um, th that means, depending on how much money you have, it means anyway having to cross borders, being in the wild, and of course being a woman is is a risk as being younger children. Like, it's a... Um, it's a situation where exploitation is is common, uh, either by smugglers who can ask for money. There there have been many reports of women being forced to use sex or intercourse as a way to pay their passage, um, or or just theft and and so on. Uh, let's say that over the Balkan route there are uh, several places, several camps where women are. Uh, welcomed in uh, so-called uh, family camps. What family camps are are generally camps that are for women and children. Of course, if there is a husband, they are welcome as well. So in which they are pr more protected, in which there is a, a protection team taking care of it. But of course, during the journey, which is uh, uh, illegal and therefore they cannot receive any support, uh, for sure, like being a woman is a danger and in fact people self-organize to try to have men in the group especially men from the same nationality or actually from the same and large family because that is a a form of protection